seems like I've been trapped again. In one of Plurpearl's escapes, Naden debunked the last one. The like arms is dumb, but this one is way more impressive. The escape room can improve a lot, and I didn't manage to smuggle any debunk skills. Seems like a fun challenge. So first off, who the fuck is Plurple? Well, let me explain it like this. He's an idiot. Well, let me say it in other words. He makes escape rooms and escapes them and like, it can't be that bad, right? Well, trust me, he's Inside of this massive blaze is one of the hardest Minecraft prisons, which I will be trying to escape. When I spawned in, I found myself on a crafting table over a pool of lava. I looked down and saw what appeared to be an opening in the wall down below. I didn't see any way to reach it, so I began looking around. I noticed a chest hidden under the crafting table, and when I opened it up, I found a bow, an arrow, and an ender pearl. I grabbed the items and then decided to break the crafting table. I dropped down onto the chest and I looked around some more. I didn't see anything, so I decided to use the ender pearl to reach the opening in the wall. I successfully made it and I found that it led to another room. I saw a grass block in a corner with a red mushroom on it. I then noticed that it was a three block drop, so I knew there was a chance I couldn't get back up. There is a three block gap and you have two blocks. Because if there is one thing that I have learned from my previous prison escapes, there is always something hidden below the lava. Okay, fair point, I admit that. I looked for a chest and couldn't find anything, so I decided to just leave it and drop down. I broke the grass block to see if anything was hidden below and I found nothing. I then looked up at the ceiling and noticed two holes. One led to a dispenser and the other led to a target. I realized I had a bow as well as an arrow still, so I shot the target and out popped an alien. You have two blocks, build up, get the target as well with the arrow, and maybe like br it'll get the redstone above it. Hello, Mayor Holly, do not see that. <laughs> I realized I had 50% of a suspicious stew, which would give me fire resistance. <laughs> I looked back where I came from and realized I had missed the bowl, but luckily there was a crafting table I could break and since I had one from earlier, I could use them to get back up. Me waiting for him to take the target block in this arrow and the rest and above it. When I broke the table, I found that a brown mushroom was hidden behind, which would complete the stew. I grabbed the mushroom, then climbed out and grabbed the bowl. I then crafted the stew, but was unsure where to go. So I decided to examine the lava once again. When I reached the lava, I went into F5. But then I had a very good idea. I used F5. See, using F5 gave me a whole new perspective and I was able to see a chest I couldn't have seen before. And this time noticed what appeared to be a hole decided to take a risk and try to enter it. I ate this stew which gave me fire resistance and then I hopped into the hole. Luckily it did lead somewhere but I was not quick enough so I was set on fire. I noticed a pool of lava in one corner and quickly hopped into it which prevented me from dying. I then got a bearing of what was in the room. There were two signs one the other around and went back to the room. I did the parkour Look in the lava, bro which led me to a chest with 18 iron nuggets inside. I wasn't sure why I needed them, but I took them and grabbed the chest anyway. When I was back, I looked around and couldn't find anything, so I decided to consult with Master Ugwe. My conversation with Ugwe was filling, and the conversation gave me the necessary inspiration to continue. Nah, just kidding, he literally just told me to look below the lava. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Below the lava, I found a hopper. Of course, it had to be the first one. Containing iron ore. I remembered the stick from earlier in the furnace, but I knew it wasn't enough to smelt the iron. And that's why you have a chest, right? You're, you're gonna use that, right? Iron. So I decided to keep searching the room. Eventually, I found another stick, which I knew would be enough to smelt it. I smelted the iron.
iron and then turn the nuggets into iron ingots. I now had three iron ingots and noticed one of the craftable items was a bucket. I remembered the water from earlier and I realized I could use it to clutch and escape. I made the bucket, grabbed the water, and then climbed the stairs once again. When I reached the top, I jumped and clutched which allowed me to enter the next room. You had two blocks, a chest and dirt. You could have placed both of them, went down, broke one block to get the back, and then go one lower and lower till you eventually reach the bottom. You didn't need the water. The room was large, and there was a button in the center of the room. I tried to scale up the walls to escape, but I found there was a barrier that blocked it off. There appeared to be nothing else in the room, so I decided to press the button, and when I pressed it, I was immediately teleported somewhere else. I found that my inventory and everything else was reset, and that I was in a new room. I was trapped in some bedrock and didn't see an immediate exit, but then I noticed what- But then I had a very good idea. So I went into F5, but then I had a very and good noticed idea. that there were ladders all around my cell. I also saw the corner of a sign, but I was unable to read what it said. I tried crouching to get a view of it, but I noticed that I fell a bit when I walked forward. I looked down and realized I was standing on a hopper. I opened it up, and inside I found an ender pearl. Now, my first instinct was to- If this wasn't stage, you would have definitely broke the hopper. Throw it, but I stopped myself and remembered the sign. I managed to read it, and it said to Ender Pearl into the corner. I thought for a moment, and then in combination with the ladders, figured I was supposed to do a ladder phase glitch. But if I used the pearl to exit the cage, I wouldn't be able to do the glitch. I decided to break the hopper below. Oh wait. My bad. Allow me to see if anything was behind it. I found that another hopper was actually hidden beside it, and inside of it was another ender pearl, which would allow me to do the glitch. I escaped the cage, grabbed the Not gonna lie, if I built this, I would have probably hit another hopper behind that one. Ladders and did the glitch, which brought me into another room. This room had some parkour and a hallway on one side of the wall. I noticed some deep slate hidden inside the wall, trying to blend into the bedrock. I broke it, and behind it was a hopper with some string. I did the parkour, and it took me to a ladder and a sign that said clue to the next room. I wasn't sure what that meant, so I decided to go look at the hallway. The hallway had lava flowing on both sides, and at the end of it, there was a chest. I carefully made my way down the hallway and opened the chest. Inside was a potion of fire resistance, which made me think there was something in the lava. Whoa, you must be ingenious. Whoa, you came up with that idea and you were so excited, holy shit. I grabbed the potion and broke the chest, and then I checked to see if something was hidden in the lava. After a while, I found a hopper with some bamboo in it. I grabbed the bamboo and then went into F5 to see if- But then I had a very good idea. I used- If a room was hidden behind the lava. Eventually, I found what looked like a room- Looks like that was the first time you checked, not like eventually, I don't know. I, I, I suck at English. <laughs> so I drank the potion and hopped into the lava. On the other side, I found a hole with an ender pearl in an item frame. I broke it, but couldn't pick it up because it was too far in. I realized I had the chest still, so I put it down to push the pearl out, and I picked it up, and then exited the room before my potion expired. I was heading back- Why did you not check if there was anything else behind the lava, bro? Come on. I the parkour when I noticed some wood in the ceiling. I tested it and found that it was a crafting table. I wasn't sure what I needed it for, so I decided to just break it. I redid the parkour and went to the ladder, and I did the phase glitch. I made it into the next room, and this room had a furnace in a corner, a chest in the floor, and a one block tall tunnel. Above the furnace was a sign that read, Have you gathered all of the signs I placed for fuel? Which scared me because I had not been doing that. But- Then, I noticed a pixel on the furnace was freaking out. I figured I had nothing to lose, so I broke the furnace, and below it was a sign that told me it was just a distraction. To the left of it was a crafting table, which I broke to see if something was hidden behind. There was nothing there, so I went to the chest, and inside of it were some planks. I grabbed them, and then thought about what I could craft. There were a bunch of options, but I decided I would use the planks to make a trapdoor to enter the tunnel. When I entered the tunnel, I noticed some deep slate, and behind it was a hopper with a boat in it. I grabbed it and continued crawling into the next room. The room had two signs, one telling me to boat clutch, and the other telling you guys to subscribe which is exactly what you should do. You hear them, right, guys? Yes, it is just the perfect time to say that you should subscribe to my channel because it helps me out a lot. I tried doing the boat clutch, but the moment I exited the room, I was teleported. What the fuck? I found myself outside the prison and in the nether. In front of me were some signs which told me I was close to escaping, but I have to find a portal first. Oh, and the whole thing was gonna explode, so I quickly grabbed the boots in front of me, saw they had feather falling, and then began planning my escape. Okay, this part has nothing really to do with the escape room, so I don't have to debunk this part. Anyways, 
I think you all pretty much agree now that Pearl Prince's escape wasn't really that good, and you can obviously see a lot of flaws. I look, there weren't that many flaws as in, for example, Arms videos, Let's but like, go. still, there are a lot of things, and like, the other things, like, people, like, other people create work so much on other videos, like, for example, Canadian, or, I don't know, and like, how many subs does Arms have, like, almost 200,000, I think, and Ken is like, 10,000, I have like, 170, Avatar, for example, only is 200, and like, we fucking kick our ass off to build these prisons, escape these prisons, do whatever, and <laughs> Like, if you wanna make these escape rooms, please, like, actually take more time making these videos. Thank you.